Greetings to all of humanity's real joy. It's a pleasure. It's my honor, as usual, to always be bringing this message of emancipation to you, whereby I'm pointing you to look no other place but to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. That's the reason why today I want to speak to you concerning thinkers versus believers. And I'm doing this video so you will question yourself and ask yourself if you are a thinker or you just a believer. For there are two kinds of people in the world, yet we are one because there's only one universal consciousness. But it is stated in the Bible that they are the wise and the foolish virgins. It is also stated that there are those who will be above and not beneath, those will be the head and not the tail, those will be the lenders and not the bearers. Also, it is spoken of in the Bible concerning slave and masters. And we know that our body is a slave to the mind. And we know that everything is mental, everything is psychological. That's the reason why I always teach you that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. That the Bible is not literal, neither is it secular history. And that the Bible is written symbolically and it has no reference to anyone who existed thousands of years ago or to any actual event that would have taken place on earth thousands of years ago. From the beginning to the end of the Bible, it's a great psychological jamma and it all has to do with the human psyche. So as I was saying, there's a lot of contrast. And so you will have the rich and you will have the poor. But yet, the one and same mind, but just different arrangement of that same mind. So too, you will have, as I said before, the wise and the foolish. Which brings me right back to thinkers and believers. Now, each and every one of us, when we came into this world, we came into this world being born in a state of amnesia, which is a state of forgetfulness. For when we were just one week old, one month old, three months, four months, five months, six months, seven months, eight months, nine months, ten, eleven, twelve months, you didn't know, even know that you existed on the face of this earth. Because you're born in a state called amnesia, which is a state of forgetfulness, as I would have said before. Therefore, you have to seek to know who you are. And so we grow up and been taught by our parents who are born in amnesia also. Then there is our teachers in school who are born in the same amnesia. And our pastors who are born in this amnesia. And so... Because of that, we were taught to have certain beliefs, not knowing that our beliefs would create our reality. And to prove what I'm saying, you can look around and you can see that as you sow, so shall you reap. Because if you plant pumpkin, you're going to reap pumpkin. You plant watermelon, you're going to reap watermelon. You can't reap anything other than that. So you see that the universe work by certain laws. And so too we are to work by certain laws also. Okay? So the laws that govern the universe are the same laws that govern humanity also. But you have to think outside of the box to come to have this kind of, un this kind of understanding. So the systems that were set up, they were set up by people who are vibrate out of the realm of just believing what was taught to them by their parents or what was taught to them by the society. And they would have found certain things and kept them secret from the masses. And that is why you have to become a thinker and not just a believer. Now we see in every religion all around the world the people who hold to their religious beliefs and their superstitions and traditions, they are just believers. But those who go beyond, 
the box or vibrate outside of the box those are the inventors the thinkers the philosophers the wise ones who make this world a better place now if we look at the contribution of believers and the contribution of thinkers we see that it was thinkers who built the airplane and invented the airplane it was thinkers who invented the telephone it was thinkers who invented money it was thinkers who invented the internet and so on it was thinkers who invented the computer the flash drive and all these things that come through science and technology they came because of thinkers not because of believers because believers are just followers they're not leaders and that is why i'm bringing this message to you so you will ask yourself are you going to be one who's going to say follow the follower are you going to be a thinker because remember boards are fed a flock together and can two walk to together unless they agree that is why there are those who never agree with me because they're not thinkers they are believers who are stuck in what was taught to them by their parents their teachers and their pastors and so on so they believe in secular christianity they believe in looking outwardly and they believe that the devil is an entity outside of themselves and they believe the creator is an entity outside of themselves also and so they try to change the world but they have never made any significant or great contribution to the world they say that god is their provider but they all are working for the same money and those who invented money was never believers they were thinkers Therefore my brothers and my sisters let us as thinkers use our mind power to achieve our every desire because we know that God in man is man imagination and that the eternal body of man is the imagination and that is God himself for there is no other god there's no god outside of yourself for it is said in Deuteronomy 32:39 that I am God and there's no other and you can never say i am and not referring to yourself and he says i am the one who kill and the one who make alive i am the one who wound and i am the one who heal do you realize it takes a thought to wound and it takes a thought to heal it takes a, a thought to kill and it takes a thought to make alive because everything is for us mental everything for us psychological and god is man's imagination for everything exists in the imagination for everything that was everything that was made it was for us a thought it was for us an idea it was for us imagine now a thinker would realize that if there is one god and there's one creator then there must be only one creative power and the only creative power there is in this world is the power of imagination and that is god himself so my brothers and my sisters i want you to decide whether you're a thinker or a believer and that is why you cannot take this message of self realization and try to patch it with the old belief system that you receive from your parents and your pastors and your teachers for you have never seen a waterfall bringing forth sweet water and bitter water at the same time you cannot put new wine in old wine skin and that is why when this truth comes around and prick the heart of many religious people they try to patch this truth with their belief system with their secular christianity belief that is why love attraction was given to many without telling them 
that everything comes from the Bible and that the Bible is their spiritual autobiography that must be interpreted psychologically. So my brother and my sisters, if you should take anything away from what I'm saying to you, you just think about all the great things that have ever been invented in this life that have been of help to humanity and that have brought more value to humanity and make life more easy in some way or the other. And you will realize that these men and women, they were great thinkers. They were not really just believers. And that's why my brother and my sister, my encouragement to you is to be a thinker today. Exercise your mind. Spend time in meditation and visualization and get in touch with your higher self. Get in alignment with your higher self so you'll be able to live the best version of yourself in abundance and prosperity. But most of all, knowing that your real identity is your divinity. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much. I want to thank you for listening to me. And I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you're listening to me, what I'm saying is really helping you in some way. It's resonating with you. I would like to say to you, if you haven't subscribed already, to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. But before I leave you, I just want to remind you that this message I bring to you, that it is the single eye message of self-realization, of which Matthew 622 says that if I be single, your whole body will be full of light. And it and hadn't it been that my whole body was filled with light and the single eye awakes within me, I wouldn't have been here bringing this message to you. Saying to you that when you have the experience that you will realize that the great and mighty shaking is the great outbreak of Matthew 27 that you will experience in your own body. And the opening of an eye, you will realize that when you say you shall change from mortal to immortality in a twinkling of an eye, that that twinkling of an eye is an opening of an eye where you will awake from the dream of life. And you will ascend like a fiery being and you burst your skull and come out of your skull and realize that your body is the empty tomb in which the Christ is buried. That's the reason why I always say to you, my brother and my sister, that when you have this great experience that you will realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and that it is the dawning of a new day in your life for the sun as in the S-U-N parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun for without the sun there is no life and there is no light and without the human imagination there isn't anything made that was made and you're told in Psalms 84 11 that the Lord thy God is a sun and a shield and no good thing will he withhold from you and you are also told in Malachi chapter 4 and verse 2 that the sun as in the S-U-N of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings and truly when the sun would have risen in me and bring healing to all of humanity encouraging each and everyone to look inwardly and saying to you to use your mind power which is your solar power your sun power your God power, your creative power, which is actually sexual power, use that power to achieve your every desire and live your life as a thinker, not just a believer. So with that means I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.